Sarge, I remember the last interview we did when you were a player. We were down in Cumbran, you, we won 3 0. You scored that hat trick, didn't you, in the Welsh Cup? And then, of course, time moves on, and you've made what I would say would be a smooth transition into coaching. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's been good, Rav. Um, busy, but just pleased to be involved a little bit more and have slightly more time where you can step away from the academy and uh, help the first team a little bit more this season. Um, obviously, tried to do it last season, but with the new role and stuff, it was become really difficult with the things I was trying to put in place and, and the way I wanted to do things. So, um, yeah, we worked hard last year and, and, and the other academy coaches and Sai and Spence and Kieran Ash, Chase, um, yeah, they all, as a whole, know what we expect and stuff now, so it's, it's in good hands, as you, as, you, as you could say. So that's, that's enabled me to spend every day, every morning with the first team now as well, which has been really good. And many players move from the pitch itself to the coaching side of things. How important has it been for you to actually stay at the same club while you've made that switch? Yeah, it's been good. You know, a lot's already been said, hasn't it, in the past of, of how you, you know, we, we like to keep our players in within the club, which is which I think is the right thing to do. Um, and yeah, it, it certainly helps you. It's been, it's been, it's been. <sighs> A busy kind of 15 months really um, and it's just good to be back at it now after the after the you know the, the shutdown the lockdown and stuff so ready to go tomorrow first game and, and as you say involved with the first team now you were in the meeting this evening with scott rusco steve evans you're part of that how easy has it been to go from being a player to actually being part of the staff when a lot of those players already know you as a player. Yeah. It's been fine, to be honest. It's, as you say, as you said before, it's been quite smooth. It's, it's something I'm enjoying, learning every day. Um, and as you say, we, you know, we're all on the same page. We've we've been known each other for years. Um, yeah, it's been good. I'm enjoying it. And we talk about the end of a, a playing career, but of course there's also the beginning as well. And a number of players, a number of youngsters, have signed first-year professional contracts from within the academy system. How much of a, an input have you had in the choices that have been made? Uh, to be honest, I've had quite, yeah, quite a big impact on the, um, on the young lads that have been taking this year. Um, it's good for you know, Scotty. To, to kind of trust you in that sense um, and I think they've shown that the right decisions have been made this year with the, how far they've developed I think between myself and Cy Smith Spence and Connor over the last 12 to 15 months um, it's kind of shown how good the programme is really because I think this this time last year I probably wouldn't have expected all all the lads to, to, to be in this position, if I'm being honest. So we must be doing something right. Um, and the lads are buying in on the scholarship and, and they're doing the work, that's the bottom line. Got to put the work in. Um, and these are sh these lads now are seeing the rewards of that um, and they're still cracking on. It's only the beginning for these. And they understand that, they're a, they're a really good group. Um, so yeah, a few of them are going to be going on loan and stuff. Um, Couple of, as you've as you've seen already, are amongst the first team in squads, so it's going to be really good for them. And it's true to say as well that those youngsters that have made the step up to the first team squad, when they've trained, when they've actually been involved, as it is at the moment in pre-season friendlies, they certainly haven't looked out of place. No, they have. It's credit to them. You know, they, they do the simple things and. As I say, they do the work every day. Uh, they listen. They all want to get better. They do extras, which is which is what you're going to have to do. Um, as I say, it's, it's only the beginning for them. They've got a long, long way to go, but they're definitely doing things right and they're going going about the work the right way. Um, yeah, which has probably come from last season. So there's definitely opportunity for them, and if they're good enough, they'll play.
and you've mentioned tomorrow. Here we are, Friday night in Cardiff. We play Barrytown United tomorrow afternoon. Although we've had the European game, which of course was a, a successful outing against the Slovakians, this is where the rubber hits the road, so to speak. The JD Cymru Premier, that's the bread and butter for the club. Yeah, you're right, it is the bread and butter. It's, that's the reason why we have these ex European experiences, obviously. Um, although, you know, if we're all being honest, it, we were in the competition, European competition that we wanted to be in, so we've got to put that right. Uh, we've got to pu prove a few people wrong, and then, as you say, it starts tomorrow. Um, the bottom line, we need to, we need to start well.